Edmonston, in Madawaska County, New Brunswick, straddles the Quebec and Maine borders. The small city of about 17,000 residents is 95% francophone, the highest such proportion of all the cities of the province. The economy of Edmonston centers on the St. John River paper industry, with several sawmills and paper plants in the area, and its attractions include the annual Jazz and Blues Festival, beautiful botanical gardens, as well as stunning mountain views. We're spending this weekend in Edmonston, New Brunswick, so we can not only check out the brewery, but we can also visit the ski hill tomorrow. We're going to speak to the co-owner of Petit So, Andre Legier, who's also a co-owner of Mont Farlang, the ski, snowboard and snowshoe destination that we're really excited to visit. I am André Léger, uh, co-founder and uh, general manager of Les Brassards du Petit We're three, uh, three, three co-founders, Michel Poitras, which uh, works in communication uh, at the, for the city of Edmondson, and uh, André Morneau, he's a programmer. I'm the only one of the co-founders that's working uh, in the day-to-day -day business. The brewery opened in 2014. I traveled a lot and you know it was it's, it's very interesting to see what was happening in terms of uh, breweries everywhere and there was not that many breweries in, uh, in uh, New Brunswick so we thought it'd be very interesting for our community and it's, it was especially a, a trip in uh, Belgium that really interested me because over there the way that breweries work each community has its own brewery which is sort of the center of the community where people go for a beer and a, a so I think that, that I thought that model was very interesting and that's, I thought that would be very nice to be to have a, in Edmondson. It was a big stretch because uh, craft beer wasn't a big thing in, in Edmondson, like a, even at the NB Liquor store, there was barely any uh, craft beer. And uh, when we started, uh, we, we, we really had to work hard to let people know, uh, make, it, like, uh, make, it, make it interesting for them. My name is Pascal and I am basically just uh, work at the front of the boutique, just serving beer, doing growlers. We do have some really cool beers. Uh, we have really cool beer names too. You know, we, we do name a lot of the beers after the city and a lot of like the city's history. So I think that's a pretty unique thing to just not necessarily have like uh, just random names that sound cool, but also something that has a little bit of history to it. Yeah, the characters are, there's culture, actual sculptures and the images on our bottle, bottle that, that are named after them are actual pictures of those uh, sculptures who are done by a, a lo local uh, sculpture. Uh, it's Luc C, he's a local, uh, lo local guy and uh, he's uh, wheelchair bound, like he has MS. Luc is very interesting in telling uh, stories like he, you can sit down and he'll tell you the story about the, 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 the characters and he's very, a very good storyteller. First one on the left would be uh, Louis, uh, Louis 17. It's based on a legend, local legend where uh, the son of uh, Marie Antoinette and uh, Louis XVI, uh, like uh, after the French Revolution, he uh, would have evaded as a kid. So some say that he actually came to uh, establish himself here in the area, so under an, another name. The second one on the left would be uh, John Baker. John Baker is, uh, is a character for our uh, uh, Belgian uh, Dubel. He operated the uh, windmill in the area and uh, he was famous for uh, declaring uh, the, the area uh, a republic. So if you, have, if you ever hear the Republic of Madawaska, he's, he's the one behind that. He was tired of paying taxes to the British, so he said he would, he would separate. So <laughs> he went to prison for treason. And the third one is Bob LeBeuf. Bob LeBeuf is not a very famous person, but people who knew him, like he thought he was a very uh, special character. He was a very tall guy, over six foot six, I believe. He was a debt collector. He, he used to work for, uh, delivered pianos on his back. Uh, he was uh, very well known. The fourth one is Tain Blanche. We use Tain Blanche for a Bel as a character for a Belgian wit. Tante Blanche is a Acadian heroine. When, when uh, Acadian they move in the area, during the first one of the first winters, there was a huge snowstorm in uh, September, and it, it uh, destroyed the crops. Uh, the men who went away for hunting were uh, were stuck, so they couldn't get back home. So there was a local famine, and uh, Tante Blanche was instrumental in helping people uh, provide food for uh, for all the, the the people who were in need. Next to Tante Blanche is uh, John Glazier. 
John Glazier is the character we use for a um, pale ale. So John Glazier is also a guy that works in own uh, mills. There's a lake in the area no, named after him, which is a very uh, uh, interesting lake because it's uh, very wild. Uh, for, the water is very crisp. And also he's famous for being the guy that uh, he, he sent logs in the St. John River. And he, he was one of the first one to, to cross the uh, Grand Falls. Then we have Maxime Albert. Maxime Albert was a famous bootlegger in the area in the uh, 20s and 30s. During the Prohibition, he was uh, involved in uh, bringing alcohol to uh, the United States. Al Capone has been known to come in the area and uh, he was associated with uh, Maxime Albert. The last one is Sœur Catherine, which is our uh, name after our popular IPA. Uh, Sœur Catherine was an actual nun uh, that uh, taught people, kids in, in schools, in little, little school. She was very mean and bitter. So <laughs> I've known people that have had her uh, taught her, and she was uh, she was very bitter, very strict. So we thought our, our that our um, IPA, which was very uh, high IBU, bitter uh, IPA, would be interesting to be named after her. I think we're we're pretty lucky in Edmondson, where like small business entered. Uh, there are a lot of small businesses in town that a lot of people really like to support and I think that that's super cool. I mean, instead of supporting big business like Amazon, why don't you, you know, buy from your own people? Um, so that's always something that I found pretty cool about Edmondson and especially in recent years, there's really been an increase um, and I think that the pandemic also kind of heightened that, an increase in wanting to buy locally, wanting to support your peers and your, you know, your friends, your neighbors. Um, and I think that that really helps the community grow, especially during a time like this, um, where everything is really difficult. You know, we are seeing businesses closing every day, and um, we've been pretty lucky that that hasn't happened a lot in Edmondston. Not too many businesses have closed, and that's really because people want to buy local. Montfarlang, the ski hill in Edmondston, I'm a co-owner. Uh, we purchased uh, the hill uh, over six years ago, along with 12 other business person in Edmondston. And the, the goal was to prevent the hill from closing down. And it, it was our intention when we purchased it to convert it into a four season outdoor uh, center. So uh, right now, as of last year, we formed a uh, co-op, uh, which will transition with the ownership of the, the ski hill and it will integrate uh, mountain biking. We already have lots of uh, mountain biking trails in, in the center, in the area and uh, we will expand that and we want to make uh, the ski hill at the center of uh, all those outdoor activities. I'm a skier. I've been a skier for a long time and I still do ski. And uh, it's, uh, Edmondson is a great place for skiing because we always, always get snow. As early as December, we often have snow. Or if it, we don't have a lot of snow, there's always like a good temperature to make artificial snow. Yeah, it's a very long season, yeah. Oh, uh, the skill, uh, I think it's very important, uh, uh, you know, I think there's, uh, during the winter there's over 16 employees that works there uh, and I think that switching it to a, a 20, uh, 12 months a year operation is very important for the area. People from outside the city are really familiar, familiar with the skill, ski, uh, mountain biking and beer, uh, I think there's a, a natural combination with that. Uh, here we, we're a very popular spot for, uh, for people who come here after their bike ride. They, they, they come with uh, their friends and they can often come from the, the bike trails to, uh, to the brewery uh, on their bike. So uh, yeah, we're a very popular destination for that. Winter is actually the perfect time to visit northern New Brunswick. You can check out the brewery and then the ski hill is just a 10 minute drive away. And it snowed overnight, so today it's perfect conditions for skiing, snowboarding. We're about to go snowshoeing, and then after, we're going to sit back in the lodge and enjoy some Petit Soap beer fresh on tap. See you next time.